Hey guys. This is the soul here. Let's do it. A high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. All right, guys, welcome to a new episode. I'm pretty sure it's episode four or five. I'm just going to take a look of the Soul Healing Show with Raven. Okay, I just, synchronicity, I just experienced some very interesting things. And I'm going to share these things with you today. Okay. Grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself some water. Let's talk. Okay. So what have I, I'm going to be transparent here. Okay. Anybody who wishes to share the show can, I'm going to put this on YouTube anyway. So the first thing that I would like to discuss is humanity. Question is, why is humanity so self-driven? Good question. Why is humanity so self-driven? The majority of people on this earth, especially in the US, online and other places, I've noticed a lot of people are selfish. A lot do not wish to give in order to receive. And that's not a lie. People are not entitled to whatever you have to offer. Even if one like myself advertises by live video, puts the stream out there, I got to be honest. I'm starting to feel discouraged. This is part of my healing. I'm starting to feel discouraged with the human race, to be honest. It's time to heal. And this is my way of healing. I have my legs propped up on a chair, better circulation that way, better flow, I think. Always remember that no one is entitled to your best skills. Most people, I've been noticing a lot, there's like two categories of people. People that either have the, well, three actually, but the third, the in-between isn't really, isn't really looked at too much. The first one is people of poverty consciousness and scarcity consciousness. So they're afraid to lose what they have in order to elevate and grow even higher. The second is people that work, okay? Most, I mean, the majority of people do work a regular job and because they feel like they bust their ass, 
all day, all week. They feel like they're entitled, which unfortunately they're not. The third is the people that actually have pure fluidity and are able to understand things like metaphysics, Reiki principles, the seven hermetic laws, be open and fluid and willing to give knowing, knowingly, that they will receive. Now here, here's, here's a truth about abundance. Okay, take it from me. Impatience doesn't work. Stress, worry, over wanting and forcing things to happen doesn't work. I'm going to move this ever so gently so I'm able to actually look. Still getting to know a good placement. Sit with me. Let's look over humanity for a moment. Now, this is only in my reality. We're not in, you know, the U.S. is not in a recession. We're not. People have just chosen to take and not give back. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it's, as certain people say, it is what it is. Okay. The biggest thing that I see with human beings is that sometimes they suck more than most. People that live in poverty get used to taking, you know, forever consuming. Morning. The time has come, folks. to remove yourselves from the norm, to push the envelope, to do, to do and create things in life that are not only good just for yourself, but for other people as well. Now, creating disqualified energy is as simple as this. Say, for an example, you make an assumption about someone, or you just want things done your way because you can. It's free will. But the fact is the other person has rules, right? Guidelines. Apparently, mine don't necessarily resonate well with a big collective. And that's not my intention. My intention is to reach a lot of people, create balance within the masses. However, even just today, I just deleted my live readings video because I noticed how many people just come in and get free stuff. And I just don't understand what to do. I know that there is a balance. This is with everybody, just FYI. There's a balance of giving and taking 
But yet, when is taking too much? When have you taken too much? This is one of the reasons why I see like the ticker here, the, the, you know, the ticker here is, is low because nobody wants to hear this stuff. There's too many people having their face in their phones, you know, having the, the feeling of entitlement, constantly wanting, never really, I mean, they project what they want to get what they want, but then they're not willing to do the work to get what they want. Well, I don't apologize for saying this, but I am. I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to go as far as I have to in order to get or create the reality that I wish to create. Are you? Taking things into full consideration means looking at all aspects, all areas. Myself right now, and I'm sharing my own challenges, struggles, things like that. I'm sharing, you know, sharing is important. Maybe this will help one person or 20 or 100. More and more, I see that there's a trend. And this trend is causing me personally to shift, to change my ways. I'm even to the point where I'm thinking about changing my prices, to be truthful. I just don't know what to do. I mean, I brought up the fact that it's very important for everybody to know, being transparent, that I have a bill coming up Monday, which creates a very undesired situation. which I haven't had any worries about this and I'm not worried, but it's just, you know, it's definitely something that's on my mind. You know, I got a 300 and $330 electric bill that has to be paid by Monday. I only have one third of that money. This is one of the most challenging parts of manifestation and abundance is because I still believe that the universe has got my back. I still believe that there's still time and there's still abundance out there that I am able to receive as long as I do the hard work. Think about that. It's a scary moment because of, I'll give an example. If my electric gets cut off, I get kicked out. Five and a half years of making sure that all the bills were paid in this apartment and I'm still going to do it. The universe is still going to give it to me regardless. Regardless. See, ultimately, we have to make a choice. You guys don't want to hear about my troubles, right? Everybody's got their own troubles. But the fact is, what are you going to do about it? What are you willing to do? How far are you willing to go? to get where you have to be. I 
I feel I put my feelings out there. I feel scared. I feel at times like my efforts are in vain. It seems to be difficult that it's hard to find good people, the right people, the serious people. Hey Jess, do you wish to order anything? Yeah, I'm putting it out there too. My sale ends tomorrow, 50% off. For readings between 45 minutes and 90. I'm also offering a 15 minute reading for 20 bucks. That's the cheapest I can pretty much go, except for Oracle cards. Abundance and manifestation shouldn't be that difficult. Time and time again, the universe has showed me that it's not that difficult. Sometimes it tests you to your wits end, stretches you so thin when then you're about to snap that you can't have any emotions about it. Now again, I already put there in the description here and in the title of this video that this isn't for readings. It's just for a discussion in my show. So let's be realistic here, right? Put yourself in the shoes of a person who constantly takes what happens. Sooner or later, something gets taken from them. That's the truth. It's unfortunate, but it's true. The time has come for our race, our human race, to shift. Shift in a direction of coexistence, giving, you know, without resistance, being transparent and being true to each and every single one of our life's purpose and soul missions. I am, but the only challenge is that I'm not seeing What I want to see. I only see a very select few people. And that's sad. It's really, really sad that it's only a few people that can be counted on, that can follow through, and that can be consistent in what they say. Sometimes it just takes that knowing, that understanding to shift a life, a creation, an environment. Because trust me, there's been time, so many times that I've attempted to think it's okay to go and find a regular job and trust me i'm contemplating it again i don't like that i don't because i've been working for myself for so long most of the time the money that i do make you know it's only it's only good for you know the bills and 
food, extra food and a little extra here and there. Indeed. This is one of the reasons, Jen. This is one of the reasons why I said you should also be a mentor and a teacher. No. Chrissy, no. I've already done a done a payment arrangement and they're extending it to, to as far as they can. I will never do longer readings in my live feeds. I will never do that. That's like actually giving someone like a full reading. Okay, I've done that before and it's given me nobody. Okay. My readings are too vague because I want them to be. Because that's how people ask for more insight and information. I'm not here to give specifics on live video. Okay. I don't even do my regular readings by Oracle cards, mostly. I don't care if it puts people off. Okay, I don't care. The fact is, this is the truth of my existence. You don't like it? Get the hell out of my get the hell out of my um, my show. You don't have to be here. Okay, you don't have to be here. You don't. This is my show. I do my show my way. Okay, I'm giving an example of what scarcity and poverty consciousness actually is to teach people. Okay, and you're interfering with that. I mean, you're asking me to have faith and tune in for answers for others so that they are not left confused. How many, how many live videos, how many videos have you actually been in? How many live videos? Let's, let's bring this up. I love this. I love this. I am super confront confrontational. Okay. Because I believe that you don't even know me. Let's just put it that way. Let's get the real truth out. Okay. How many live videos have you been in? Let's just be honest. Still waiting for an answer. I'm hoping that this isn't a real serious lag. Because I just want, I want to be trans, you know, my authentic purpose, my life's mission and soul, you know, and, and, uh, and soul purpose is to be transparent with you guys. To be direct. There's an absolute shift that has to happen in humanity. And it has to happen now. Because if it doesn't happen now, we're all going to go downhill and constantly go downhill. I don't care, Jess. Log out. It's up to you, sweetie. Okay, it's all up to you. Again, this show is about healing. Sometimes it's about my healing. Sometimes it's about other people's healing. Okay, but not for a second Will I allow someone to come into my video and tell me what to do and how to do it? Okay, not for a second will I allow that to happen. Okay, my prices that I do make people impeccable. Make people honest with themselves and with me. Now I do the one card
Hmm. I take criticism. Again, this may be part of my healing process. Listening to you. It could very well be. You want to see how, how compassionate I am? How humbled I am? How grateful I am? Thank you for that information. I would have never imagined. Seriously, I've, I've attempted that before. Seriously, I have. I've legitimately attempted to do two to five minutes worth of a reading. I've legitimately did full 15 minute readings in live video. I think that might be a little much though. Okay. I know, I know, I know. And I appreciate it. I do. Okay. Again, this may be something that I have to shift. All right. And you're here to assist. Now you said that you're affiliated with all celebrity psychic mediums. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. I appreciate that. I do. Okay. You want to know why I'm direct like that? You want to know why I'm confrontational like this? It's because a lot of people want me to do what they want them to do what they want. And I'm only doing to what I'm pulled to. That's all. I've been pulled to do that. Trust me. I have. Right hand to the stars and heavens. I swear on everything that's holy. Okay. And this may be part of my healing process. Today is Saturday soul healing. Okay. With Raven. All right. So maybe my healing, maybe your healing. Okay. So what you're saying right now, I'm listening. Okay. I'm reading. Is longer free readings. Okay. All right. Then that's what I will, that's what I will do. I have plenty of time this, this late morning, early afternoon, and this evening to do just that. Okay. Oh. So this is an episode that is about my healing because it's, it's saying here, Chris, he's saying just two, but I'm giving you a message in that and that die is not involving needing to see more than see more than one. You're very good. I know. So you should show it. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you something about me. I've began the process of this is part of manifestation and abundance, okay? Being open and willing to receive, okay? And give, for that fact. Now, that, now that, that was a tough pill to swallow, but I'll swallow that pill. I will, because I do believe in myself. I do. And everyone that sees this has to do the same. Okay, I do believe in myself. Um, I do believe that I have uh, a very large amount of skills to offer, I do. And part of my blockage has been, I'm just gonna be transparent. Again, sharing my experience, hopefully helps you guys so much shape or form. I thought the one card was a teaser. It kind of is. I see giving two or three cards, or two minutes, I'd say, which would be more than two, which would be more than three cards, I mean, especially Oracle cards. At least, I'm, I don't go by the book, so, you know, it'll be more than two cards. So the fact is, what you're telling me is giving more, I'll get more. I mean, I, I do know that part, for sure. I know that part. Um, you know, and just for today, I will not be angry. I got a little angry in my live video earlier, and I shouldn't have. I do agree with that, Jen, but you know what? Honestly, I do feel that if you're if you charge more, you have to give more. 
I think that's the point that Chrissy's pretty much, you know, put, putting that, you know, putting that out there. Okay. Yeah. And, and yeah, she's saying, yes, I am. I agree with you. Two to five minutes is sufficient and not everyone will book a reading from you. So don't expect it. It will give you enough clients who will, who will though, and they will, they will spread it around and recommend you. True. Yeah, I guess I haven't been really giving enough, you know, and I, and it's sad to say, because I thought I have, you know, I did, I was at one, one card and I went to three. I stuck at three for a little bit and then I went to two, then I went back to one. Um, and I never really stayed consistent with just, you know, with a, a set amount. You know, maybe I should do that. I'm thinking. Actually, today you've got me thinking. It's unfortunate that I have to, you know, <laughs> I, I have to, you know, I, I have to do something and quickly and Again, I asked for an answer for what that will be. And ta -ta -ta -ta. Here you present yourself. Cool. I appreciate that. You're an angel. You're probably an earth angel. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised. I do sense a, an extreme amount of love from you, Chrissy. Um, I'm not afraid. I'm just bewildered. I guess that's the best way to put it. So again, healing healing is sometimes I guess here here's the here's the the lesson for today. Here's the final thought. That sometimes sometimes you have to force your, yourself to feel uncomfortable in order to grow and you got to do some of the things that you don't want to do. Because I don't want to give three, two to five minute readings, honestly. But I bet you if I offer, get, get your first two minutes free. I may get a lot more that are returned. Now I'm pr look, I even I may even delete this video after I'm done because this doesn't well, I guess it does have something to do with healing, which which is fine. It could be my healing, could be your healing, could be anybody's healing. It could be somebody that's going through the same thing I'm going through. Okay, so no, I'm gonna keep it on here. I'm gonna record this and I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Okay. Um because this is just the real me. So you guys don't really get the real me a whole lot. Um, but yeah, I, I had, I had a, a, a hindrance. I had a blockage and I'm beginning to look now because of what Chrissy's told me, I'm beginning to look now at what I am giving the amount I am giving. And that's interesting because I never really thought, as we're talking, my, my throat is actually getting better. <laughs> it's, we're speaking truth here. <laughs> Once you start speaking truth, everything comes full circle. I really want to help people more than I already have. Okay. And... I guess that's one of, that's been one of my biggest challenges. You know, you, she, you're saying don't delete, you know, it's a good message about having faith in what people need to do in, in these situations. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I'd like to discuss, I'd like to have a couple of talks with you. You know, if, if that's something that you can entertain, I mean, that's definitely, um, maybe I'll even offer a reading to you or something. I don't know anything that I can do to you, you know, for you in exchange. That would, you know, that would be fantastic. You said that you're a fellow medium, so 
And I get a lot of messages, a ton of messages every day. Don't, you know, don't, don't do it this way, do it this way. Um, you know, I don't even write this stuff down and I should. Um, and also when I get like that gut instinct to do something, at times, just like other people, you know, I talk myself out of it, right? You know, again, that's just normal. And at least that's normal for some people. Uh, some people don't necessarily experience that part. But in, the, in a time of doing that, it's usually best to take a step back, reflect, give yourself motivation to do this, the things that you don't want to do um, and do them anyway, because even if you try to do them and they don't work, at least you know. Hoping that makes sense. Um, oh, got a couple of reactions here. I didn't even notice. I'm sitting here, <laughs> sitting here talking away, and you know, I, I didn't even notice some of the reactions. So, the question is, during these situations, what to do? The lesson for today is just like what Chrissy said. Having faith, especially when you're gifted, okay? Having faith in your abilities, the information that you receive or that you're receiving, even at the moment's notice, right then and there, forcing yourself to change things because certain things just don't work. And being open to suggestion from other people. Sometimes that's hard. I'm a Scorpio. It's tough. Trust me. You know, because of the fact that I've tried things before, I think that still, you know, if I try them again, that, that I will not get a different outcome. And that's, and that, and at times I force myself to go against that. And, you know, things at times, you know, they get, they get better, they get good. Um, or, you know, the outcome is different and it's a really great thing to experience. Or even if it's the same, that means, you know, that's just validation that I have to change something. You know, I actually have to change something and stop doing the same shit, you know. Um, so that's a lesson learned for today. That is the soul healing show in a nutshell, okay? Is to have faith, believe in yourself, be able to shift in a different way because things are just not working the way that they should. Um, I really am feeling pulled to going on to YouTube. Yeah, Susan, it's not really, it's not really about get, you know, I, I do have to be, and maybe I don't have to be, you know, maybe that's another lesson learned, okay, is to not, you know, too light, to not go so serious. But the thing is, is that bills are serious. You know, having lights are serious. Having food is serious. Um, having my phones on now, which has been a challenge. They are now on consistently. And I'm grateful for that. My cell phones, which is amazing. Yeah, lightning up may be... I get into this funk sometimes. And, and a lot of people do. Where, you know, things get boring, things tend to, it's the best way to say it without sounding ridiculously cliche. I mean, you just get angry sometimes because you see people who take, you know, you see people who take and take and take and take and take and they say the same people. But then you have to look at it too where even if they take your giving back so the giving back will in turn activate manifestation and abundant energy 
in turn will provide you with you know abundance and manifesting you know manifesting wealth and prosperity so it's okay to do that so the ones so this this is part of my my thing and then i'll go i apologize it should have been a half hour show but you know it is really just whatever it is it could be up to an hour um I do see that the universe right now is giving me an opportunity to learn something very important. And the importance of this is that in the beginning I gave, in the beginning I gave, I gave a certain amount and it was okay for a little while. It was, but now it's a time to change and change is good. A little uncomfortable. That's okay. You'll be too. But you have to push, push past feeling uncomfortable in order to see the true light within the darkness. Because if it wasn't for Chrissy, my attitude would be entirely different. I would have primed my day to be horrible, horrible. Sometimes I have to get an outside perspective. Yes. Chrissy says, uh, Chrissy says that the universe will reward you from other people, not necessarily the ones who you are helping. And that's how it works. You know, I actually know this. And more times than most, I fall, not fail, I fall. Sometimes I feel as if it's not fair when I fall. But ultimately, I don't, I just don't know how to be that super bubbly, constantly vivacious sort of individual. I mean, I've lived a life of seriousness from when I was kicked out at 18, literally up until now. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I mean, and where has it gotten me? It's gotten, gotten me some pretty challenging stuff. Yeah, no, I know. And I'm still believing. I'm still believing. Even though I only have today, tomorrow, and a little bit of Monday, I'm still believing. I still have faith. But thank you for that. I'm going to do another live video. So do you know celebrity psychics? I am one, but yet I still, I, st <laughs> I still, find, I mean read celebrities and high-end people doesn't mean I'm any worse or better than anybody else they've ju they just chose me and it was a, it was a cool experience it really was um, I, I read a couple and I guess you could consider celebrity psychics the one that have constant bookings <laughs> so at that point no <laughs> um and I still am curious about how I can do that. And maybe I am too strict. I mean, I have my disclaimer. I have my fees, you know, for no shows, for uh, late cancellations and not paying on time. I know stuff just happens in life, but, you know, people at times have to be forced to commit. 
I mean, maybe that's just an idea that I have. But, you know, I'd love to have consistent, you know, consistent people. I don't want to lower my prices because if I lower my prices, I won't be able to pay bills. That's the truth. I mean, I get, you know, 170 for an hour. I get that twice. That's almost all my bills paid. That's what I have to have. That's my must. But you're right. I should probably be doing much larger readings. Maybe I should even change my hours, to be honest. I was thinking about that, too. Because, I mean, working all the way to, up till 10 o'clock at night is kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Maybe I should just do like seven or eight or something. Ten o'clock's a, a little a little late, but it depends on the location and the area. I mean, maybe I should just do one day at like you know ten o'clock. It's a day that I make sure I commit, and I can openly give till ten o'clock. You know, I appreciate I appreciate the reminder. Yeah. It's cool. Chrissy says my mother kicked me out when I was 17 because she was jealous that I had friends instead of staying in the house with her every minute. The kind of thing create creates a lack mentality. It makes oh makes a hold feel worthless and disposable. Huh. No, I'm hitting 41. I'm not no spring chicken. <laughs> That's for sure. Um but this has been a, a reality, a real check. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do. Maybe I should give a little more to get a lot more, you know? I should give a lot more in order to get a lot more. I was always afraid that if I did like full, like five minute to 15 minute readings in my live video, I just would miss a lot of people, you know? And it's usually those people that just want quick, you know, quick fire yes or no answers or, um, you know, or, or just don't really cherish you know, those who have abilities, they just go in, they, you know, they get the free one, they pop out. You know, it's just, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, hang on a second. I'm actually going to go momentarily. Holy crap. Yeah, and, then, and see, this is one of the reasons why I love to do these shows, because sometimes I get, even I get insight, or or I get an uh, uh, outside perspective on something that I'm struggling with, okay? And this, this is, again, soul healing. I mean, this, that, that's what, even if it's me, if it's me, if it's you, if it's, you know, if it's anybody else, I mean, that's truly what the show's all about, Okay. And I'm not here just to sit here, interview people or whatever. I mean, yeah, I can. Don't get me wrong, I can. Um, but And I would like to do that again. You know, I used to be the reporter for gifted people at one point, um, which was kind of cool. It was really cool to hear, you know, hear people's stories and stuff like that, uh, especially gifted people. Um, but there's a moral of the story. Today's lesson, today's soul healing get to that in a minute okay no i'm gonna get to this now and then i'll do my conclusion chrissy says ah you're a guy most men like to do short readings but the longer the reading the more clients you will get is a general rule sorry about the typos too i type with one finger yeah, i do floating hands a thousand up to a thousand words an hour um yes integrating with the feminine side of my essence
Interesting. Maybe that's what I should do. I'll do that. I will do that. You know what? I'm going to go have one of my vices real quick. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm not even hungry right now. Um, I'm pro probably not going to be hungry until like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've got some time. I'm going to take your advice, Chrissy. I'm going to take your advice. And I'm going to do that as soon as I'm finished. I think that I started learning to do something, working for a company. And then I didn't stay consistent with what that was because it was, it was bringing me like constant, constant clients always doing video, you know, video chat. And then all of a sudden I stopped, I stopped because it was too much work. It was too, Al Pacino, he says it in sense of a woman because it was too damn hard in here, not in here, not in here. Oh, well, heart, sorry, not in here, not in here. But in here, it was too damn hard and I was giving too much. My thought was I was giving too much. And you're right. You're right. Oh, what an epiphany. What an epiphany. Well, the conclusion of the show is this. Even in the moment that you want to give up, have faith, stay strong, reflect. You reflect on whatever's going on and be able to listen to not only the suggestion of good people, okay, that have your back, but also listen to what's in your heart. Till next time, guys. So Saturday Soul Healing with Raven, bidding you a blessed day. Be humble. Live in love's vibrational frequency and take care of each other. Love and light, guys. See ya. Peace.